the Uganda Energy Credit Capitalization Company, UECCC, is a government institution set up under the Companies Act as a company limited by guarantee and not having share capital. In 2006, uh, government decided to establish a Uganda Energy Credit Capitalization Company, that is UE. Uh, CCC to purposely provide financial, technical and other support uh, the private sector, renewable energy, generation distribution and access projects. Private sector has helped in some instances to ensure that uh, we have the required capital which otherwise uh, the country will not have afforded a loan. The company's main objective is to provide financial, technical and other support for renewable energy projects and programs. UECCC is also the administrator of the Uganda Energy Capitalization Trust. The company runs or administers a trust called Uganda Energy Capitalization Trust which pulls resources from government and from development partners for purposes of investing in renewable energy projects. The mandate of the company is to invest, facilitate investment in renewable energy projects by the private sector, by extending credit to these companies. Accordingly, the objectives of UECCC is to serve as a credit support institution and to promote private sector-led renewable energy infrastructure development. We have been able to move from a startup company operationalized in 2009 uh, with a capitalization of about 1.5 billion to where we are now uh, with a uh, capitalization of over 100 billion for delivery of our mandate. Banks, microfinances, as well as savings and credit cooperative societies providing the financial services are Centenary Bank Uganda, Post Bank Uganda Limited, Finance Trust Bank, and Pride Microfinance Limited. We've been able to extend credit to about 2,000 families that have been able to access a power connection as well as solar connection. And this one they've been able to do through our products, which have been codenamed Sente Solar as well as Sente Power. And we want to thank our partners, the UECCC, for being able to enable uh, you know, our clients through the bank, Centenary Bank, to access power. And once power is, is, is availed to them, definitely we know we'll be enabling them to do investments and eventually being able to create the small jobs that people need to be able to develop the economy. The services which I've been getting through Centenary is that the first one helped me to wire my residence and I got power connections. Later on, there was the other phase two bit of it. I was also uh, very lucky to assess it and I made my commercial building to, to have power connections. I'm really grateful. I've benefited from this uh, electrical loan very much. When they came, the problem came in, they sensitized it about the program. I just took interest straight away. At home here, we, I also am I'm trying to look for things, the way of opening something like also, eh, we selling this, some of these uh, cold drinks and so on. And I encourage my colleagues who are still in darkness <laughs> to see to it that really they also have this opportunity. I think we are likely to do more business in Koboko as, because business cannot go without power. So where there's power, there's business. I got this power, I was suffering because of power issue. I had the tenants here who wanted power, I wanted to connect what? 
solar, but they wanted electricity, so I, there was no option where I could get. So until when I went to Centina, they said there is a power connectivity money loan, which I accessed and I brought that pole and it brought power. So I still need more because I have around seven buildings coming and all will be with each electricity differently. A friend tipped me from Wendreko that Centenary is up with the, a program. We applied for the loan. Immediately, uh, the program was rolling to the school. Uh, we were given a poll, so we powered our administration block, and it is from the administration block that we, we fitted the computer lab. Energy is a prerequisite to development. There is a master plan, and we are only contributing something towards the master plan by way of electrifying these very remote areas which are very far away from the grid. UECCC -C -C also established linkages with grassroots-based tier 4 financial institutions, savings and credit cooperative organizations, SACOs and microfinance institutions. We have also put in place uh, customer-oriented financing uh, modalities targeting the average Ugandan and uh, these include uh, loan products uh, provided through our partners and uh, uh, these products include a solar loan product that is uh, in place to um, address the affordability barrier posed by the initial upfront cost of acquiring a solar system which is relatively high for the uh, average Ugandan. Actually, I would like to extend my thanks to Post Bank Uganda, Kedia branch, which actually it has uh, uh, helped me a lot acquiring the system on a loan form. I bought it from Solar Now. I got a loan of about 15 million. It helps build the lighting system and then the entertainment for patients as they wait for medical attention. It has actually improved people's lighting system. People have run away from paraffin because it's there permanently. You just have to maintain the, the system and it's also helping people, uh, the charging system. Five years ago, we got into partnership with UECC. With that partnership, we were able to raise to another level of professionalism in the provision of solar. We were providing solar, very small pico units, light only, light and uh, phone charging. But when we partnered with UECC, see, they introduced us to a network of professionally trained um, technicians who were able to then service a clientele that we were avoiding to service before. People who wanted systems, for example, for their hospitals, systems for their schools that we weren't able to do before. And as a result, they have transformed the communities they work in. How I came to get this solar was through those people who are under Tujijenge company. They came advertising the solar system. So when I looked at it, I got interested. So when I bought it, I saw how useful it was because I could even light it throughout the night. This is the one my wife uses. She uses it throughout the night for baking her cakes when she's at home here. So this thing has helped me so much in, and even the family at large very much. And they have appreciated they just loaned me this solar here. So we see a lot of opportunities going forward. We have been able to reach out to the bigger systems through UECC partnerships. We've been able to reach out to more people through the loans they give. And we have been able to also reach out to more people through the marketing support they give. 
UECCC is currently piloting a biogas financing facility for domestic biogas digesters with Ebo Sako. Before UCC came in, we had not focused much on this renewable energy products, biogas and solar. But when we came, that's when we developed these products and actually now they are picking up. And this partnership has, has actually increased our visibility in the whole region. When I been here, I was able to get a lot of biogas. I was able to biogas. I was able to get a lot of biogas. I was biogas. I was able to get a lot of biogas. I was able to get a lot of biogas. I was able to get I was one of the beneficiaries who got a loan from EBO for biogas. I built a, a tank of 40,000 liters. Why I appreciated the biogas is quick service. I found it very, very, very useful. I really appreciate EBO and the one whom they contracted, Biogas International. The facility is aimed at addressing affordability barrier associated with the upfront costs of acquiring domestic biogas digesters for cooking and lighting. The Government of Uganda Electricity Connection Policy 2018-2017 has set a target of 300,000 on-grid connections per annum. Government of Uganda is implementing a free connection policy. In that regard, UECCC is extending funding to support house wiring and connections to communities in different parts of the country. UECCC mobilized grant funding of up to 13.1 million euros from the Oreo Infrastructure Fund of the Netherlands government. The Netherlands government is quite active in, in renewable energy in uh, Uganda. Uh, we focus mainly on solar, uh, hydropower and a little bit on cooking stoves. The funding is targeted towards development of nine mini hydropower sites of 0.5 to 1.5 megawatts capacity as a single project for rural electrification. We try to make uh, renewable energy uh, affordable to developing countries. It fits in our broader um, uh, commitment that we made at the Paris Climate Change Agreement, uh, not only to do our bid in, uh, in, uh, in, in combating climate change, but also to assist developing countries to do the same. These are projects which are in very remote areas and uh, therefore not attractive to the private sector. However, we have to find innovative ways of developing these projects because there, is, there are people living in those remote areas that need electrification to power their growth and economic development. Uh, at the end of this project, uh, it is expected that we will be able to connect um, 71,081 households and many other uh, SMEs in the areas of agribusiness um, and the service sectors, including healthcare, education, uh, and other service industries. Project Yenu in Yakulio Umkikarkino Malieta, Imania Nejakulietera, and Kurakurana Umkikarkino, Ekakawasanja. The project will generally contribute towards realization of National Development Plan NDP2 targets on rural electrification, poverty alleviation, climate change mitigation, healthcare services, and education services. It's our joint responsibility to ensure that uh, we contribute to a protection of the environment. And this can be done through uh, the financial products that we are offering, uh, that will ensure that we are promoting use of clean energy 
technologies that really don't harm the environment 